Our essay is the importance of receptors. We have to remember that we are talking about the importance and not the role of receptors. It doesn't matter how amazing your essay is, if it's on the role of receptors, it doesn't link to the essay and you're not getting any marks. Pause the video for a moment and have a read through this student response as the first paragraph. You will see that every sentence is GCSE. If it's not GCSE, then basically somebody with a good knowledge of biology could have written this essay. And therefore, the student has wasted her time as there are zero marks for this paragraph. I can see what she's tried to do. She's tried to put the essay in context. However, there's no marks for that. Every essay should show that you have been to A-level biology for the last two years. Examiners know that time pressure is tight and they don't expect an introduction or a conclusion. So unfortunately for this paragraph, zero marks. This next slide shows the next uh, paragraph. It's split into two just for ease of reading. Pause the video and have a read. Straight away we can see that the student is into A-level content, talking about rods and cones as transducers. She also talks about the distribution of rods in the periphery of the retina. And very quickly, she links the importance of the receptors to the organism's survival. She has written, this is important for survival as it ensures the mammals can see and hence protect themselves at night. The student has then gone on to explain how the rod cells work and enable the organism to see in dim light. Loaded with A-level content, and a clear link to the importance, this first half of the paragraph shows the student is bang on track. Take a minute to read this second part of the second paragraph. And here we go, straight into A-level content. There's no fussing around, there's no context given. We're straight into A-level content that a GCSE student wouldn't know and nor would a layperson. The student explains how visual acuity is achieved by cone cells. It further explains that without these receptors, we wouldn't be able to change light energy into electrical energy. It enables the brain to perceive images. So for that paragraph, every sentence was loaded with A-level content. And of course, the content was explained and linked back to the essay title. We move to the third paragraph. Remember, AQA requires four distinct paragraphs from four different parts of the specification. Take a minute to read through this paragraph. Again, I've split it into two just for ease of reading. The first few sentences could be described as GCSE. We're looking for A-level uplift. And the first part where we get that really is when we start talking about the tertiary structure. The second part of this paragraph links to the importance of, which means we're linking it back to the essay title. It's nicely done because it links to the importance of receptors for this particular process. Remember, if we link everything to the importance of the survival of the organism, everything will end with, without this, the organism will die. We need to be more sophisticated than that. So when we're talking about the importance of, we're linking it to the importance to the process. This is shown here in this slide produced by AQA. In the 2017 question paper, students were asked about the importance of diffusion. Many students were able to explain with a reasonable degree of detail about gas exchange in the lungs. However, when they tried to link it to the importance, they basically said it was important to stay alive. However, at the other end of the spectrum, some students were able to link the importance of oxygen uptake to oxidative phosphorylation and respiration as a source of most of the ATP that the body requires. So in order to prevent everything coming down to the survival of the organism, let's link it to the importance of the process. The student could have improved this part of the essay, however, by talking about where these water sensitive cells are that are gonna expand or shrink. Unfortunately, what lets this paragraph down is the fact that it's a little bit wishy-washy. It's a little bit vague and it smacks of somebody writing about a subject that they kind of know, but they've forgotten all the names of all the bits and pieces. Generally, the main idea is there, but the writing is superficial and lacks detail. 
However, the importance of being able to detect changes of water content in the body are clearly made. Take a moment to read this next paragraph, which again was written as one paragraph, but I've split it into two for ease of reading. Remember what we're looking for. We're looking for A-level content. We don't want irrelevance. We don't want GCSE. A good GCSE student could not have written this, nor could somebody who's just informed about biology. To know this stuff, you had to come to biology class for A-level for the last two years. The student does a good job of using lots of subject-specific vocabulary. And taxis and kinesis are linked to the essay title, which is the importance of. So every sentence in that paragraph is an A-level sentence and it links to the essay title. Let's take a look at the student's next paragraph, which again has been split into two just for ease of reading. Pause the video and have a read. Straight away we can see we are into A-level content. The student has also decided to point out that she's gone beyond the specification. Remember, if you're looking to gain the highest marks, i.e. the upper marks in that top bracket, 21 to 25, you need to be including information beyond the specification. That's not too difficult to do. All you need to be aware of is stuff that's been covered in the previous specification that isn't in the new specification. And if you've chose five distinct areas, you can pretty much anchor them in to any essay. So, so far, this has been a good paragraph. However, I think what she could have done is explained a little bit more as to how a rapid response increases the chance of survival. OK, so AQA have stated that in order to get 10 marks or more, you need to include more than two topic areas of the syllabus. Now, that makes sense. And to get more than 15 marks, you need more than four topic areas. And that doesn't seem too difficult to do. However, it's actually really easy to fall into the trap of writing all about one particular area in the specification. So as this slide shows, last year in the diffusion essay, many students just wrote about gas exchange. They might have been talking about the fish, they might have been talking about the lungs, but it was all contained within 3.3.2 of the specification. The essay that we've just analysed did jump from subsection to subsection. It moved from light at 3.6.4 to taxis and kinesis at 3.6.1 and synaptic transmission at 3.6.2. However, to avoid two paragraphs within the same subsection, try to be truly synoptic in your approach. Jump from different areas of the specification. Familiarise yourself with the specification and remember it doesn't match the textbook entirely. So with all that said, what would this essay achieve? I would definitely put it in the bracket of 16 to 20. It covered more than three topic areas. It covered four. And all of the responses linked to the theme of the question, which was the importance of. However, there was that one paragraph that lacked detail and was less well developed. And because of this, despite the fact that it contained information beyond the specification, I can only award it a maximum of 20. In fact, I'd probably have given it around 18 out of 25. So the main points in relation to this essay are only include A-level content. Make sure you link it to the main theme of the question, which is the importance of, and make sure you have chosen a synoptic approach. Make sure of your answer that it's not all included in one part of the specification, one subsection.